Hey, this is Ben with MeasureQuick, and with me today is Dr. Richardson from Elephant Energy. Hey, Ben. Hey there, Dr. Can you tell me a little bit about Elephant Energy? Sure. Elephant Energy is a company trying to make the acquisition of and the upgrading to a more climate-friendly home for homeowners. Incredibly simple and easy. We do that by being a one-stop shop for homeowners to get things like heat pumps, heat pump water heaters, EV chargers, induction wiring. Try to make it as simple as possible for the entire customer experience. And that sounds a lot different than what most HVAC companies are about. And so like for yourself, like how, how are you built a little bit differently than most HVAC business owners? When we started looking at this space, we realized a couple of things. One is that with heat pumps, it's a new-ish technology for most HVAC companies. And they're not really built to support that kind of technology. They don't have the systems and the processes and the equipment, the installation knowledge. We could provide a huge benefit to the HVAC industry by making the installation of heat pumps a whole lot easier. There's a financial component as well, where with heat pumps, there's a lot of rebates. City, mm -hmm. your utility, your state, they might all have financial incentives and rebates to be installing heat pumps. We streamline that entire process for customers in a way that your typical HVAC contractor just isn't going to be very great at doing. And then the third thing is that because of this new technology, the getting the system sizing right is really, really important. And that's not something that in the HVAC industry, there's a ton of expertise in. Instead, the old way of doing things is you have a 100,000 BTU furnace, well, swap it out and replace it with a new 100,000 BTU furnace. There aren't 100,000 BTU heat pumps. Instead, you need to right-size it for the building specifically. And to do that accurately, you need a whole bunch of building science, and we've got that background. And how big are you guys now, and where do you serve? And so we've grown quite a bit. We've grown 10x over the past year. We are right now in the Colorado front range, so everywhere from Fort Collins to the south of Denver. And then we recently expanded to Massachusetts earlier this year. So we expand, we serve most of the greater Boston metro area. Now next year we'll be uh, continuing to expand into a couple additional uh, metro areas. So stay tuned for that. Well, you must be doing something right with the business model with that much growth. So that's awesome to hear. Ah, thank you. Thank you. And you leverage technology quite heavily. So is that something where a lot of modern and maybe connected technology, is that necessary for you to get the results that you get? Specifically speaking, it's not necessary. But however, we find it incredibly helpful. So uh, we use a technology called Smart AC as one of our key differentiators in our heat pump uh, installation business. And we use Smart AC for a couple of reasons. Um, most importantly, it provides both us and our customers great peace of mind that this technology is going to work, that, that the heat pump itself is going to work for our homeowners year in, year out. Uh, the way that they do that is through a number of different sensors that they uh, are all internet connected. That internet connected sensor gives the homeowner a bunch of data about the performance of their system. It also gives us performance data. And that's been really critical to us to ensure that we can confidently and competently be installing these systems for our homeowners because it gets really cold in the markets that we're in really cold night in Colorado, really cold night in Massachusetts. You want to make sure that this system is going to work for you in all types of weather. Coldest nights are the hardest. That's where all other HVAC companies have struggled. And a smart AC device for us has provided a huge amount of peace of mind for these systems to ensure for us and our customers that we've done everything perfectly for their home. And that peace of mind could also be equated to a reduction of risk for your customers, but also for you as a business, because I would assume that you're wrapping these smart AC devices into maintenance plans. So we're not specifically wrapping it into a maintenance plan right now. Okay. Instead, what we do is we provide it as a two-year free add-on included in the price of the purchase huh. for our homeowners. Again, because we want to provide that, that peace of mind. But how does that business model work then? If you include it, they get access to the information from smart AC. And then if a problem is detected, then do they call you and ask you to help them solve the problem? What does that look like? Yeah. So I've got a couple interesting examples of how the data has been useful to us. 
One example is, uh, and this doesn't happen infrequently, a customer will call us and say, hey, my system's not. So we pull up our smart AC knock and we take a look at the data and we see that the system is short cycled. It's basically turning on and then very quickly turning off. And when a system is short cycling, there can be a couple of root causes, but most often it's because they have a dirty filter. <laughs> and so it's very easy for us to remotely give them a call back and say, when was the last time you changed your filter? And that, we can see that in the data and we can therefore hopefully competently help our customers understand, diagnose, and solve this problem a whole lot faster than a truck roll or a technician visit might be able to do. We've got some examples of, of really cold nights and, and how we use the data there as well, if, if that might be interesting, Ben. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Look, heat pumps are designed to provide and cover, and at least for our systems, 100% of the heating load for design temperature. Colorado design temperature is about zero degrees Fahrenheit where we are. That means we are sizing our systems to work at zero degrees Fahrenheit. The issue with the heat pump is that as it gets colder, um, the system um, requires more and more uh, heating capacity, and you might just run out of heating capacity. Um, so you may not, if it works at zero degrees, it may not work as well at negative 10 degrees. So last winter, we had a cold snap of negative 13 degrees, the coldest it's been in literally decades here in Colorado. And we were transparently, as a new business, nervous that we might have customers that were going to be, maybe their system wouldn't be able to keep up, wouldn't provide enough heating, literally that, that coldest night of the year uh, or the decade. And so we pulled up our smart AC knock. We set all the alerts to be going off if customers were losing heat. And we were pretty vigilant overnight of watching that. Again, from our risk perspective, we wanted to make sure that our customers were having heat and that we could proactively solve any home and any homeowner's problem if they were running low on heat. And, and as a huge testament to our building science team, uh, not a single customer lost heat. They all stayed within a degree or two of the desired set temperature. So if your home was set at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe it got down to 66 Fahrenheit on that absolute coldest part of the night. But you know, a couple, diff couple degrees here and there is not something to worry about. And we were all able to do that through the smart AC data. So that real-time dashboard for us it provided us <laughs> a huge amount of peace of mind that we were going to be able to proactively solve any problems for our customers in the event that they struggled to maintain heat on this absolute coldest night of the year. This isn't a service we charge for. It's not something that customers are really paying for. It's something that we just believe is incredibly important to providing a great customer experience that we're looking out for them, not just before the system is installed. But after that customer has paid us, we want to be there for them for the long term. That's just part of the brand that we're building. And Smart AC was a key enabler for us of that. That great customer experience, it equates to stickiness of the customer and then it equates to word of mouth. Have all your friends and family know that this company has gone above and beyond and has blown my socks off and delivered uh, this extraordinary value to make sure that I'm taken care of. So I understand the value of that investment that you guys make there. Yeah, great. Thank you. I appreciate you acknowledging that. Now, what's it like to be onboarded uh, with Smart AC? If another HVAC company wanted to get started, you have had that experience. What advice can you give another HVAC company? Honestly, it's been one of the easiest parts of the, the business to build out. The Smart AC product is incredibly intuitive, both from a homeowner's perspective and from our end as the ser uh, services comp provider side of things. Reaching out to their website, having a conversation with them about what your goals are as a business, what the problems are that you're looking to solve for, and doing a couple of tests with customers, it's all incredibly easy. So we've been really impressed with the entire team so far. They've been really helpful for figuring out how to get that data more proactively pushed to the systems that we're using internally at Elephant and just made the entire process for us and our customers incredibly simple and easy. Amazing. And I also had seen in our system that uh, you guys are starting to explore measure quick. So I don't know if you're using it very often, but is that something that you see a fit possibly for your business? Like why did you start exploring it and where do you think the fit could be for a company like yours? Look, as a new business and as a new business working with newer technologies, the qualifying and commissioning systems well 
is incredibly important. A huge problem in this industry is a lack of standardized commissioning processes. With a gas furnace, transparently, you haven't needed to have robust commissioning processes. As you upgrade to more sophisticated technology, you need better systems and tools for managing and ensuring that install was done correctly. Part of the reason a lot of the other HVAC companies out there haven't gone into heat pumps is because it's more complex technology. You need to have a better system and process around commissioning to ensure that you're not going to have a callback, to ensure that the system is going to work from day one well for a customer. So we as a company have invested a lot in ensuring that we have a great commissioning process for every installation that we have as a way of reducing our risk and as a way of ensuring that we're providing a great customer experience. So I think tools like MeasureQuick can be incredibly impactful for us to provide a data-driven uh, methodology and process and output to ensure that we've done that commissioning checklist. One of the things that we found, right, is we have a lot of paper-based, um, those checklists are good, but they're not data connected. It's hard to tie what somebody scribbled on a piece of paper to a picture to an actual completed job. And software can be a huge enabler there of providing a much better system and process. As we continue to grow our business, tools like MeasureQuick, I think, are going to become incredibly important to it, ensuring that we can continue to grow and deliver a great customer experience through a reliable uh, commissioning process. That's awesome. I love that Elephant Energy has embraced all of those kind of better HVAC uh, principles. Really glad to hear that you guys are kind of growing fast and taking over and implementing this new technology that is required for decarbonizing all of our buildings. You guys are doing it right. I wish you the best. Thank you so much for your time today and hope to chat again soon. Yeah, thanks so much, Ben. Really nice to spend time with you today. Thank you.